Hey guys, it has been Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another apartment renovation. And today we are at 1312 21 Cheek Street, which is Penny Pizzazz's apartment, one of my favorite units. And we are renovating this apartment for a single sim or a couple. And let me just tell you what inspired this apartment. So I'm working on a bigger build, a family home. Yes, I know I haven't built one of those in so long when was my last full build i feel like i just did one was it a family home no no it wasn't it was the timber barn loft that was the last time i did like a full build not an apartment renovation i did it in chestnut ridge and it was for a single simmer couple as well so <laughs> clearly i'm like inching back in still to doing like full builds and especially family builds but this one okay i haven't had an opportunity to use a lot of the crystal creations kit now i wasn't making this specifically for like a gemologist or a jeweler or anything like that because i didn't use the new like craft table but i did use a lot of items from the crystal creations kit and i also used the greenhouse haven windows and i was just i was so in love so what i was doing is i'm working on a full build currently and I came up with this color combination of these counters from For Rent that had the gold accents. And then I just started bringing in some of the dark blues, as well as this herringbone patterned tile from Growing Together with the black appliances. And I was like, wait a minute, I really like this combination. It did not work out for the house that I was building because it just seemed really contemporary and dark compared to the exterior that I had already made so i decided to take this inspiration and bring it into an apartment instead and i love how it came out i'm i'm not a gold fan this is like when i think of jewelry i say this all the time jewelry if i wear it which is very uncommon <laughs> i don't wear jewelry that often but if i do it is always silver i don't like wearing gold jewelry it's just not something that i like personally However, I've also mentioned this in a recent speed build. I have been watching a lot of Down Home Fab, uh, which I very much enjoy. And they always use a lot of gold and, and like some darker colors as well. Like they'll use a lot of browns and blacks and gold and make things really bold. I'll stop rhyming and repeating the same words over and over again, but I wanted to use a lot of gold in this apartment. And I don't think I've done this floor plan before. I really, really liked this one. And I don't know why, but the Greenhouse Haven kit windows, they just really did it for me. I say this every time I do an apartment because I'm still not used to it, genuinely still not used to it, that we can actually swap out all of the windows. It makes a world of difference. Like, does it look ridiculous from the exterior? Yes, yes it does, but do I care? <laughs> no, I don't care at all. As you can see, the kitchen came together really easily as well as the small dining table that I included, and then we worked on the living room. Now the clutter is also very minimal in this apartment. Oh, and because I haven't built anything with the Cozy Bistro kit yet, I used a lot of the artwork, which is exciting. <laughs> I used the artwork. I love the artwork that we got with that pack so much. I think I used every single swatch, if not like 90% of the swatches in this apartment because basically all I used for painting decorations was that, that exact same picture. And I put that little strip light above each and every one as well. So I don't know what the Sim or Sims that live here do for work or what they really enjoy. I, I don't know, but I like their style. And of course you can change whatever you'd like if you download this too. You could make everything a lot brighter with different swatches, but I loved the darker tones here. I'm really gravitating towards dark blues and gold right now. Like I said, I, I was really, really drawn to using a ton of gold here. I don't know why this apartment just brought me so much calm and joy and I want to live here. <laughs> I really, really do. I almost made a sim or two to actually play in this apartment and I don't typically, I can't say I don't do it. I don't typically play in my own builds. It really comes down to convenience sometimes where if I'm looking for the absolute perfect home, but I just can't find something that I want to play in, I'll use one of my own builds and usually regret it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just don't like playing in my own builds because usually when I make them, I'm not making them for specific Sims in mind maybe certain dynamics, but not certain Sims. And a Sims personality really comes out to me when I'm making them in Create a Sim. And if that doesn't align with the home that I put them in, it messes with my head. I don't know if anybody else is this particular, but I am, <laughs> especially when I'm playing the game, which is why sometimes, sometimes it's difficult for me to like stick with LPs because if the vibe is off at any point, I'm like, no, I'm out, bye. 
<laughs> I don't know where it comes from. Um, on that note as well, I hope you've all been enjoying Breakaway. This was, or it is, I'll say, a mini series, but it's going on longer than I necessarily anticipated, and I'm really just enjoying playing with them. So I'm not gonna make any promises, but it might be an LP with multiple seasons, but I don't know, because last time I promised that, um, I didn't come back to a season until well over a year later. And I can't even say that because technically I'm still prepping for season two of Growing Together. Um, if you didn't know, my Growing Together LP is absolutely coming back. At the time I post this, maybe it's come back already, but uh, yeah, it took me a really long time to get back into that. <laughs> and I did a lot of prep for that season two and to get back into it because I really just, I lost momentum. That's what happened. So I don't know. I've been enjoying Breakaway a lot. I don't know where the story is headed. It's a lot It's a lot of storytelling mixed with casual gameplay more than anything. And it's not with intention to explore a certain pack this time. So it's made it, it's made it very interesting to, to say the least, but hopefully you're all enjoying it. And if you enjoyed my Growing Together LP when that pack originally came out, Hopefully you're excited for season two because they're back, baby. I don't know. I'm really excited. Anyway, we just worked on the bedroom, which is very plainly decorated. Oh, I also use the paranormal stuff curtains. I never get to use those. Never. And I was overjoyed to use them here because they were black with the gold accents. It looked so good in my opinion. I loved how it all came together. I was so, so happy with it. I think the last thing that we actually decorate is the bathroom, which is pretty typical of me. I don't know why I save the boring bathrooms to the end of a video, but um, I did. And I also get rid of that separate space. I was gonna make it like a laundry area, but I was just like, no, I don't play with laundry in my builds that often. I've, I've changed my tune. I used to do it all the time. I like the monotonous tasks and the mundane tasks, but I, I don't do it anymore. So now I haven't been putting them in my builds. Fun fact, as if you cared. Anyway, this is pretty much the end of the build. So I hope you all, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this one. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Newly awake, tired and lazy. The cute sounds you make while sipping your coffee. I know there's a world outside, but right now it's you and me. Just you and me, baby Roll out of bed I love when you're hazy Rewatching friends For the millionth time Well, I know there's a world outside But right now it's you and me Just you and me, baby